afternoon. Good afternoon. If you are in software services or engineering services, you might come across a word called bench. What do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> bench means you have no product and you are waiting for a product. So you don't have anything to work in the office. So, and today, today I'm going to share you a little part of my bench life. I joined Geometric in July 4, 2011. And after working in a project, uh, in a project called Solar Turbine for about a year, the project, project closed and I was on bench. And being a mentor, I had to report to the you know, rightful office. So while I was on bench, my regular routine was reach office at 8, uh, 8 a.m., check bells, go to breakfast, then we'll come back for tea, have to uh, do some chatting with your friends or gossip around and you can get to see that around 10 a.m. After that you check your mails again or maybe you start the internet. Then when it is 11 30 you go for again to have some uh, to have some tea and gossip with your friends. You do come back again to your seat and do something. I, I, I don't know when you check the emails over and over again. Or then when it's time for lunch at 1 p.m., you, you go for lunch and then you go for a walk around. After, after that, you come to your seat again and take rest. Maybe take, take a nap or something. When it's time, or when, uh, when the time is 3.30, okay, then you go for tea. When it's four, get ready to go. So this was my usual routine when I was on bench. And this happened for three months. And sometimes, uh, af af after breakfast, we, uh, some, me and some of our colleagues would go to the malls to go for some movies and all the office. So it was a great time. But if you continue this routine, you'll feel bored. And I think you know what I'm talking about. You don't have any work, you really feel bored. So, in, in the big beginning it was fine, it, it was good, but I was really feeling, feeling bored and I want to change something. I want to do something uh, which is quite interesting. So, I started reading books. The first book that I have read was Reads that book by Robert Kiyosaki. It's mind blowing. And after reading that book, I was into this book. So I completed the first book, second book, third book, and, and, and so on. So when I was on bench, we have to report to this uh, HR, that uh, is the uh, resource management team. And this resource management manager was observing me for quite a long time it's because I went to the office. I, I have a breakfast, and I was I took out the book from the which I taken from the library and I started reading it. That's it. No more gossiping around, no more chatting, no more walking around. So he was observing me for quite a long time. And I heard later that he even complained to the HR resources, uh, resource management in India about me that I'm not doing anything. I just <laughs> read my books. That's it. So uh, when I was on uh, during my bench dinner, I also got some offers. The first offer was uh, they asked me to work in they got, uh, they, uh, they asked me to work in Caterpillar Belgium project, which I rejected. It's because I didn't want to work in that project. Next offer was to work in a project in four that is in Chennai, so I have to reload in Chennai. I rejected the offer because I wanted to stay in Bangalore. Third, they again told me to go to Pune. I again rejected it. <laughs> By this time, the HR. Uh, Resource manager, uh, manager, manager, well, my really hated me. <laughs> so, in it was during December 2012 that uh, a list was prepared, prepared to fire out some of the employees because most of the people were in bed, around 100 people were on bench, and 
out of which 50-50 have already been fired. So there was something uh, to break up some process or some rumors that were in my uh, company. So one day I got a call from Kathanu Kiwari. She is the HR head for South India. So she called me up and told me to come to the library office. She even uh, sent a Toyota ETOS for me. So I was excited. I was hoping high. I, I was thinking that she's going to offer me a promotion. <laughs> I went to the office. I met her in her seat. We went to a conference there. She started talking about uh, the market, the present market scenario, and I listened to her very carefully. Then she told me that the company is letting me go. I was shocked at the moment. I was thinking what I will be doing after I lose this job. First thing that came in my mind was I go home. She gave me a blank paper and a pen to write my resignation letter. I, I started writing it. And after some time, she told me to stop. She told me that if you are ready to work in, in any project, she is willing to consider me. She knows me very well because uh, from the beginning, and, my, and she knew that my performance in my previous project was very good. So I accepted the offer. And I am still now in the company. But after that incident, something struck me. I started thinking and I asked myself a question and today I'm going to ask the same question to you. My present lifestyle depends upon the salary which I draw from the company. If something happens, if something, if the market goes down, if you're fired from the job, and if something happens to you, will you be able to maintain the same lifestyle that you have maintained? It's a good Thank you.